right, so now I'm hiking up to the temple. Um, it is 500 steps up a mountain. And now, <laughs> yeah, I'll see you there. Um, and the thing is that the steps are steps are kind of big, so we'll see how it goes. Right, so I think I'm halfway up. I can see the top. They even have snack bars in here too. Whew, it's not that bad. I thought it'd be worse. It's not that bad. Okay, so I made it to kind of one of the tops here. I'm just kind of sitting on the edge. Oh, it is tiring. Um, I still have the other side to climb. I saw I'd do the bigger one first, get out the way. Um, yeah, I hope the audio, the audio is working. But here's, here's what it looks like. So there's the other mountain I have to go to. So this is one side and then Yes, yeah, so this is the top of the mountain. I'm gonna climb up to that bit up there, and see what's up there. But I need to, I, 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 I speed, I sped run this entire, this entire climb. I literally just almost didn't stop. Went straight up. It takes about an hour both ways because of the 500 stairs, depending on how long you stop for. But yeah, it's really, it's really, really nice. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> but oh, it looks it's good to take it in for a sec. All right, so this is probably one of the most dangerous like almost tourist attractions I've ever been to. Like, <laughs> I literally had to scale rocks, get out of people's ways. And all, the thing is that all the rocks are pointy. Oh, so now I'm just going down because there's just too many people up there, but the view is worth it. As you can see, it's just a lot of people. That's all it is. It's not really a comfortable spot to sit down either. Um, but this is the highest part. And there's this drag in here. I've been using it just as like a kind of handle. I think I can get over there. There's a spot over there. So yeah, let me try that. All right, so I'm currently sitting at the top here, it's a bit it's a bit high. <laughs> it's a little bit high. And we've got a vlogger. He's really cool. He's a chill guy. I'm talking about you. Hello. <laughs> talking about me? Yeah, I'm just saying you're cool. Yeah. Very cool and chill. I, I don't know if I can stand up. Okay. So yeah, this is... Yeah, we are top of the water. Yeah, this is... We are Wesley away from that. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally like one strong gust of wind to just not being human anymore. Yeah. Being part of the earth. Um, but the view is worth it. The view is worth the, the potential death. <laughs> potential death. Yeah. And it's kind of cool. They have a... I'm going to go right to the edge here. Oh, it's a lot of wind. Yeah, see, it's just... But yeah, there's the flag. But... With some music I'm listening to, it's a very... It's a very uh, good view. Very good view to sit at for a sec. Um, I wasn't expecting to make a video like this, but I might as well. 
And I was just down at the bottom riding those, those little kayak things and looking up here and I, I didn't think we could get all the way up here. It's crazy. So now I don't know if this will be a crime or not, but fuck it. Might as well, other people are doing it. Woo! This is Vietnam. I feel like I, t I, feel like I took over. I feel like I took over the country. I did get, I did get escorted out of a uh, national museum here, unfortunately, uh, just because I was arguing with the guard about my mic. They wouldn't let me in without the mic. I said, "What do you have against?" I uh, said, "What do you have against mi against mics?" Well, it's just a mic. And then I started arguing, and then they got police and grabbed my arms and pulled me out. But I don't even know what this monument is. Okay, let me make sure that's good. Uh, now, problem is, is that it is so hard. Like literally, I had to jump on top of that there. Um, and it's double the challenge with a camera in your hand because I didn't bring a bag. It's like, no, I don't need a bag. Didn't know that. It's a legit, legit trek up to the top here. Um, and also up at the very top, it was very windy. It's very scary, very, very scary. So yeah, so now I've got to try and make my way back to the stairs. I've decided I'm not going to that other thing. I feel like coming up to the top here, saw everything. I don't need to overextend my stay for a single thing. Oh, maybe it's under here. Even this, this is cool. I hope that focus, I can't see. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find a way to set up my camera and take a photo like this. Okay, so finally got the focus right. And I think they're some of the best photos I have of myself. Best photos I've ever taken. Um, yeah, this is uh, it's definitely, uh, this was, I think, what I was looking forward to the most on this trip, was being able to see this, because this is, this is priceless. You can't, like, it's hard to get this places, and the fact that I'm able to just come up here and, and just look. Like, I, on the other side of the mountain is more of, like, the city. There. And uh, on this side is just the mountains, and I, I find this side to be a bit more bit better um, yeah also just been sitting here and looking at the view and I can never get into enough mountains like it's something about them maybe just because Toronto is very flat but I was feeling a bit off today and this definitely this definitely helps bring up the mood just you know, there's no cars and just nature. Small villages. That's what I love. I absolutely love it. <sighs> Getting back to um, the stairs is gonna be really hard. Getting here was hard. So I know that getting back will be even harder. Um, I saw people trying to scale down the side. Cause I don't think, you know, maybe you're not supposed to come up here, but they have these chains. Uh, so I'd assume that they know people come up here, but it is so sketch. It is so sketchy up here and I don't, this would never be allowed in Toronto. Like this, this whole area, they would never let us, like they wouldn't let us go into Scarborough Bluffs, let alone I'm sitting at the edge of this, of this mountain. Like literally, <laughs> I look down. What? I don't know if that picked up on the mic, but someone just whistled. Um, yeah, I look down, it's just straight, straight down, then like pointy rock and trees, and then just more straight down. Um, this is where I like to live. This is where I like to live in life, is on the edge of a mountain. And I wouldn't ask for it any other way. I'm gonna head back, I think. I think I got enough photos, I'll head back. I got enough footage too, but I hope I hope it looks as good on this camera 
as it does into my eyes. Probably, definitely not, obviously, but it's definitely a, it's definitely definitely a different sight, like a completely different sight to, to what I'm used to. So it's it's nice to it's nice to, to have this. Okay, so I'm also just crawling through this little crevice here to get down. It's my head. <laughs> yeah, it's very small. Um, yeah, so now I'm back at the bottom, avoiding all this traffic here. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right, whoa, that's a big gust of wind. Now it's the easy part of going down. And I didn't realize how big these steps were on my way up. <laughs> but um, yeah, now, now I'm starting my descent. There's just so many people. <sighs> but this should be fast. Faster than coming up. Coming up was actually fine. It was a lot easier than I thought, which is good. I feel like my legs are about to give out though. Like when I get close to the next step, they start shaking. Okay, so now I'm heading down. I'm kind of just like speed running it. I'm going two steps at a time. Just cause, why not? Get the exercise in. I've just been going around people. It's kind of, it's kind of funny, because I've just been passing everyone. Yeah. Okay, so I saw a sign for a kit. It's a waterfall. It's a literal waterfall. Um, I'm just gonna go check it out quick. Okay. So at the bottom. Um, that cave is really cool, but I don't really have time because there's a lot of traffic apparently, so I gotta get back to our coach bus. Definitely broke a sweat. I am dying. Um, how do I get back? From the top I saw this was one big loop. Could go that way, I'll go this way. I don't know, I think it's faster, I'll go this way. Um, but this is really cool. This is a really cool spot. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Have a good one. Um, making friends, taking photos with fans. It always seems like everywhere I go, everyone wants to take a photo. I don't, I don't know if it's like, some, some have been when I have the camera out and some have been without the camera. So maybe the camera has something to do with it, but also I think a lot of it's just, I look different than them, I guess, I don't know. No, there's a lot of tourists. I have no idea. I have no idea why people want photos. <sighs> and holding this camera's hard. But yeah, so I think we're heading to the train town next. I might just go back. I'm exhausted. I would love to just sleep. But yeah, great mountain.